Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to another stream. Hope you're having a good weekend. It is Saturday, so hopefully you've enjoyed the Premier League fixtures today. I'm recording this about three o'clock, so I have no idea what the scores are. Literally not looked at anything today, so um, we can do maybe... I don't know. We'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll talk about all the Premier League stuff tomorrow in, in the, in the, before the looting game. We're going to have a pre-match build-up tomorrow morning before the uh, before the live watch-along instead of a preview tonight because both me and Hugh are vi uh, busy tonight. So we can't really be doing um, a preview. We're going to maybe pre-record one for tonight, but we thought it's less interactive. You don't really get your opinions across. So preview or pre-match build-up, we'll call it, will be live tomorrow morning. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we go live tomorrow. Right, so <clears throat> today's video, Jack Grealish is not really finding his time on the left-hand side uh, too much. And now there are games that definitely he does, uh, you can say that he's definitely suited uh, to some games. Like the Chelsea game, we started with Doku. A lot of people were saying that we should have started with Grealish in that game. Grealish does offer a lot more control on that left-hand side. And now this isn't another one of them Doku versus Grealish videos. And it's nothing to do with that because both of these players can exist in this Manchester City side. And if anything, it's more about how they can both exist in this Manchester City side. So... Midfield-wise, we know it's a bit missing at the moment. Something ain't working. It's too easy for teams to come at us. We've seen it against Villa. We've seen it against um, Liverpool. Got quite a few chances as well. They look dangerous coming forward. Chelsea game was just back and forth. Spurs were walking through us and looked dangerous on every time they attacked. I know there we should have took our chances. Uh, but it is basically non-existent, especially when Rodri's not in the side, as we witnessed um, against Villa. So... It's about how do we bring a little bit more control, a little bit more presence into that midfield. And obviously, like I say, Jack Grealish isn't really getting too much game time or starting too much, I don't think, um, on that left-hand side. And yeah, it, 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 there are games, like I said, where it would pre prefer Jack there um, over Doku. However, this is more about how we can get Doku playing that left-hand side, so we still keep that. And we try something that I'm surprised Pep hasn't really gone with since uh, Grealish has been at the football club and play Jack Grealish in the midfield. Now, this is something that I thought would happen when we first started getting linked with Jack Grealish. I was like buzzing. He can come into that midfield. He can help us out there. But he's just been kind of pushed onto that left-hand side and that's been his spot. He's never really had a chance to move into the midfield. But now, with everything kind of being a bit up in the air with the tactics, wondering what's going to go on. Alvarez started the season great, uh, absolutely phenomenal. Was one of our best players uh, for the first few months of the season. However, it's kind of dipped off a little bit and we're hamming him out and maybe he he probably could do with a little bit of time out of the team. Um, he's just getting pushed into that midfield position. And now when Kevin De Bruyne's back, that will undoubtedly happen. Um, we'll have nothing to worry about in that situation. We can have Kevin De Bruyne there. He'll just take Alvarez's spot. Alvarez will start rotating with Haaland again. And then say like every six, say Haaland starts the game, 60 minutes, you'll see him come off. Just like we used to see last season, Alvarez comes on. And then sometimes you can play Alvarez instead of Haaland. And we'll have to see what, uh, see what Pep cooks up like that. Um, and now another thing with Alvarez, we've never never seen him really play right wing he did that for River Plate um, a few times so it'd be interesting to see if Pep ever actually runs that um, but Grealish I think it'd be beneficial to the side and obviously gets him more game time uh, starting more games if he could move into that midfield you could drop Alvarez put Grealish in there and I'd be pretty confident with that and this is something that we've been speaking about on live streams recently uh, post uh, post uh, Villa we, we was thinking about what we can do to maybe change it up a little bit but still have good impact and Grealish playing that box to box eight roll we know how good Grealish is defensively so him being in the side, getting back, uh, helping out defensively, going forward, creating things, I think would benefit us a lot. And I think it's something that I'd like to see Pep try. And now, obviously, I'm throwing this out to you guys. If you want to see Grealish, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I could just be waffling. It could be a shit idea. But I think it's a great idea to try it. Um, there's no harm in trying things. And I, I think if it works... It could work really well. You could see a midfield of Rodri, Grealish, and Kevin De Bruyne when he comes back. If Grealish is willing to go get, um, obviously do the defensive work and get the legs in, uh, you could see that as a midfield. But until Kevin De Bruyne's back, you can throw Grealish in there and and, and Kovacic, and it offers a little bit more creativity in that midfield bit. And we know Grealish is very good at keeping the ball, uh, keeping all of it, and creating the tempo basically because he'll receive it and and it, it can basically just recycle possession. If you look at last season. 
Um, look at last season when we played against United. This is what I referenced this the other day. Um, a lot of the, and you've seen this, not just United, this is just one that sticks out in mind. Um, I can't remember if it was a 6-3 game. It was one of the games anyway where Grealish had the ball basically in left-back position. Um, he drives into midfield and then he just opens up space. He, he, he creates loads of space for himself, opens up, drives, and he, he, he was the catalyst in that movement. Um, and then I can't remember if it was either Foden or Haaland who ended up scoring at the end of that. But we've seen it a lot last season when Grealish was driving and creating space in that midfield. It worked. So it's something that now I'm thinking, do we just try it now? Now that things aren't, obviously we're not playing great at the moment. Um, obviously we're not in a crisis or anything people are people getting at us for calling the, the phone-in show the other day Man City in crisis hotline but that was more of a, a joke on itself a joke on the, the Man City in crisis thing because the amount of Man City in crisis videos that I've seen recently is is too much mate and we're not in a crisis it's not it's not crisis mode um, but I do think this is something that's worth trying Alvarez isn't cutting it at the moment in the midfield kind of dips a little bit um, I think in the Spurs game, one of the, one of the Spurs goals came from a, a, an Alvarez pass, which is a bit a, a bit of a shit pass. Um, honestly, I, I think no harm in trying is the situation that I find myself in right now. And tomorrow against Luton, I think he's a good time to trial that. I don't think it will happen, though the likelihood of this happening is probably nothing. Uh, but I do, I, do, I do think it's something that we could potentially throw out there. Now, switch that up and people will say, and I guarantee that if people haven't got this far in the video, they'll probably already be commenting saying, but Phil Foden, Phil Foden in that role, Phil Foden. And as much as I, I want Phil Foden's future to be a midfielder and, and be in that midfield and do bits for us and obviously we can play him out on the wing when needed, I just don't think Pep sees it. I, I don't think Pep wants to run that. He's tried it a few times. I just think he prefers him as a winger. I think, and then it, it, I, I, we know it's very fluid. He does, he does obviously, he drifts inside and gets close uh, up to Haaland, and especially when you've got now this right wing Kyle Walker, which I'd like to see less of. Phil Foden does tuck in, um, but I don't know, man. I, I, I think, I think having basically your front, like your from from midfield to forwards is like Rodri, Grealish, and you could throw Kovacic in there, Bernardo Silva in there. Or, do you know what I mean, something like that, like for now, until Kevin DeRoyne comes back. I feel like we could trial that with Haaland up top. And obviously, we know that Haaland and Grealish have a very, very, very good connection. Their link, their link up is sick. Last season, it might have actually carried through to this season now, Haaland, as a fact, scores more goals in this team with Grealish on the pitch than without Grealish on the pitch. That is a fact. So... Clearly, they've got a good connection. Uh, you can have Doku on the left and you can have Phil Fold on the right. You know what I mean, I, I just think, I think it's something, it's, it's a conversation to be had. And that's why I'm throwing it out in it to you, in it, to, to let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think it's a worth try? Because I, I'm trying to argue a case for it here because I, I want this to happen. I feel like it's something that we could see and it could work. The guy played there for Villa and it worked. Why can't we see it? Why can't we see if it works for us? Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Jack Grealish midfield. Is this something that you'd like to see? I know there's a, there's a few people who don't like Jack Grealish on the side at all. And, and yeah, you can you can sit on your side or whatever. But he's a City player. I back him. He did bits for us last season. I think, uh, And I think he does have chance to do bits for us this season as well. And I think in that position, I think he'd excel. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below. How would you fit Jack Grealish into his side. Do you usually want to stick as a winger, uh, rotating with Doku, and then maybe try Phil Ford in midfield? Or would you like to see Jack Grealish in that midfield role, maybe a box-to-box, -box, helping out defensively, which we know he's good at, get a bit of control of the game, um, a bit of pause, mate, in that midfield. A bit of control is something that we've been missing for weeks now, and it's stressing me out. Uh, but let me know. I uh, appreciate everyone who's uh, watched this video up until this point. Uh, hit like on the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, keep me updated, man. Let me know on the Grealish stuff. We'll be back tomorrow with a, um, a pre-match build-up and we can go through our team lineup, predicted uh, scores, things like that. And we can talk about that Luton game and the, we'll have a, a dip into today's Premier League results. Big up to everyone. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow. See you in a bit. <laughs>